I've done stool in so long. <laughs> Why? Why with all these jokes? <laughs> Why? Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Hey guys, Cyclonic Flame here, and welcome back to Broken Age. This is episode 5, and when we left off, we crashed through the roof of some person's house from a really tall ladder. And also, I laughed a little too much in unintended sexual pun, but we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, going to Shay. Okay, Merrick, what do you want? Want to hear about how I got us to Prima Doom? Yes. After we rescue the helpless creatures there. Hi. We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. That's what she said. The controls are yours. <laughs> Sorry if my voice sounds a bit raspy. The fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shield. Ah. Rats. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit well raspy done. today. Now the next but Undertale has made my voice and my throat a little Careful. bone dry. Sorry, now is really not the time for this. Okay, that's all we can do. <laughs> We're pulling out. No, I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I, I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. It's just one creature. We've saved more than enough. Says the person is probably going to eat them. It's not worth the risk, boy. Got ya. Got her. Huh? What's that? I. I have no idea. What is that? Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> Attention, ship is under attack. <laughs> Again. I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Oh my gosh. Run, Shay. Get somewhere safe. Attention. Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. <laughs> no. Where the hell are you going, Shay? Shay. There you are. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe. Shay! What the hell am I even doing? What in God's name is that thing? What is that? Shay, I have to agree with your mother for once. Get back in the fucking ship, dude. That looks like a giant fucking eye. <laughs> Wait, is space disintegrating around him? Oh shit. Oh, you're serious? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. Okay, apparently Shay's dead. Now I'm gonna have to continue the story with Vela until I get back to Shay. So next couple episodes probably will be about Vela. Let's talk to this guy. He seems to be like a woodsman or something. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Uh What's the matter? What's the matter with you? I I needed the wood, okay? Hey. Who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were a tree. Oh, I'd love to hear about the backstory for this. 
Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? That is a good point. What are they screaming at you? What are they screaming at you? <clears throat> All kinds of really personal insults. Like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? Um, maybe you could wait for branches to fall down or for the trees to keel over. Um, you're a woodworker. So you're a woodworker. <laughs> could you make me something? Like what? Something practical but something unique. Something practical but unique. I've got just the thing. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why with all these jokes? <laughs> Why? Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. That's a good point. <clears throat> I'll catch you later. You wear the trees. Why? Um. X. You using the sax? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Oh sweet, I just took the X. Um what's this? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? Okay. And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait. East? Or was it west? Meh. Oh wow. You're just gonna leave me to die at the hands of a snake without checking first? <clears throat> no, my luck's probably gonna be west. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go this way. Let me see about the snake. <clears throat> Wait, is this east? West? Doesn't matter because the snake's coming to kill me. Make any sense? Well, I mean, yeah, it's a loud so noise. Not go that way. Got it. Oh, there's the ladder they came in on. <clears throat> okay, so I got X. Okay. Hmm. Hi. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Do I really want to do this? I have a <clears throat> feeling I might regret this. So do I. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe. <clears throat> Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please. Oh my god. Uh Why are you, why so, are you upset? so upset? I just can't stand by in <laughs> silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a penis joke or a fucking bullshit joke either way. That's funny. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. 
going to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sound. I've never seen, I've never seen tree. a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding, murderous humans, so get lost. Wow. I'll let you get back I'll to screaming. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Well, okay then. If he wants me to get lost, so I'll just get lost. Where am I heading now? Hello, Shellmound. Looks like Mob Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Okay. No, my right. Hi. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Uh, why did you say that? You look because like a mayor. you look like a mayor. Mmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. For now. Okay, this, this guy obviously wants to be a politician. About your bucket hat. Wait, <clears throat> about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Looks great on you. Really fancy, actually. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Okay. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Poor stylus. Um, I need to enter the maiden's enter feast. The maiden's feast. <laughs> Child, at this point, we may not even have a maiden's feast. Not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Uh, did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea, she is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Uh, there has to be there a maiden's feast. There has to be a maiden's feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra, but when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. Uh, when is Mog Chakra supposed, supposed, supposed to get here? <laughs> Any minute. So much to do. I feel like you get back. back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay, so the waves keep washing the sand away. So I'm going to assume that I need the set from the tree to stick the sand together. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Talk to these ladies. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Somebody's gonna miss those hooks. I have some of the perfume. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Uh, can I have some? Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. Uh, isn't somebody gonna miss the hooks? Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Man's nervous. Man's nervous. Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. I wanna be I in it. I wanna be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, 
Interesting bitch face incoming. Smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. See you guys later. See you later. Ciao. Can I, wait. As much as I would like some chum, I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open container with those gulls around. Fair enough. Uh, what's up here? A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Oh. The dead eye god sees no one. Okay, um can I get you hey, guys can something? Can I get you guys something? Like what? More holy Some tear more gas? Holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. I think I can use this for the Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Uh who are you two? Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. <laughs> what is this what place? What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Yeah, well, I kind of know now because you guys keep saying Dead Eye God every Can ten I seconds. Go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't just know. Just looks cool. It just looks cool? It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one Ouch. enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of yarn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. What's the riddle of yorn? Um, could you remind me how the riddle of yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us the solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Sense you later. See what you did there. Um. Let's go downstairs. Okay, I think I can do this. Can you hear me up there? I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. These seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Come to me, old chum. I mean, <laughs> when is this not going to come in handy? I can think of a few situations. Wait. <laughs> Wait for it. Drusilla, don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Oh my god. Don't worry, I'm going to help. Do something! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. How? I'll tell Mob Chakra about you, Drusilla. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> the things monsters go for these days. Okay, so I need to get set. In order to do that, I have to... There we go. Oh, and 
now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Uh... Yeah. I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you bark for sure. Is it from their aloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang! Maybe Curtis has the answer. Uh, here you go, Curtis. Check Take it this. out. Non talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a relief. Um. I feel ten times better. Vela had the same idea as me. I want you to have it. Okay. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Okay. Take okay, it. What about this? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Okay. Let's talk to him for a bit. Hey, Vela. Uh. Hey, about this hey, art. About this art. Yeah. What is, what is it? it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. Then we have to I search up what that is. Interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Um. How do you know it's hanging right side up? How do you know up? it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. I decor. like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Catch, Catch you later, later Curtis. Beware the trees. I'll take that. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. I think I should show that stool to the tree. Sorry to do this to you, but Oh my god. Is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? I forgot the bucket. Monster. Wow, it's getting thicker every mm, It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Okay, I can skip that. Show that to him. Still see the grain of the wood. Oh wow. That's just mean villa. Alright, I think I should take this to the mirror. No, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Uh, how about now? There you go. So, better let you get back to the feast. 
Okay, there we go. Give that to him. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Let's give this a try. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. <laughs> Here comes a wave. I can't look. I can. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sand castle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. Alright. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to end off the episode here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the commentary and you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe down below. Tell me what game you want me to do next, and I will see you all in the next episode. Jeez, be quiet, would you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Alright, I'll see you all in the next episode.